What is going on you guys? Welcome back and thank you guys for checking out episode number two here in my series making the custom. We're still working on Big Daddy V and once again in part number one if you guys didn't check that part out we laid the foundation here for V's upper body. We added a lot of bulk and a lot of size using our milliput here. Now what we're going to be doing here in episode number two is cleaning that up and finalizing the shape of V's upper body. Now, unlike in part number one, I want this to be a smooth finished product here, you guys. Once again, I referenced in part number one that I was just trying to lay the foundation. As you can see, we added a lot of size, but I wasn't really looking for a smooth finished product. Now, we are gonna be sanding this guy both wet and dry to achieve a smooth finished product here, but if at all possible, I wanna make this sculpt as smooth as I can before it cures. As you can see, what we're doing here is just a little bit more of the same. I'm adding a lot more thickness and width to the chest here of V. I wanna make sure I finalize the shape here before getting into sculpting those singlet straps. As you guys can see, we're starting to achieve that desired shape and aesthetic of V's chest. It's starting to look a little bit more and more like him with each one of the modifications that we're making. I'm still carving it out, making sure we're achieving that full range of motion and I'm still continuing to maintain that full articulation for him. I'm really happy with where we're at here as far as the sculpting. I think it's really starting to resemble V's upper body. Now, what we're gonna do next is I'm gonna let this guy cure and we're gonna start on the modifications for V's head. Now, moving on to the modifications for Big Daddy V's head, he was sporting a bit of a different look here than that of the official release of the Viscera Elite figure. But what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna modify that head. Um, you guys are seeing me wearing the glove here. That's actually a cut resistant glove. And I wanna make it clear that anytime I'm handling my X-Acto blade or anything like that, you guys can do it with a towel over your hand while you're holding the item that you're gonna be slicing or cutting. 
but I, I, I personally like to use the cut resistant glove as the handling is a little bit more natural. And what you guys are seeing is we're just mixing up some Milliput really quickly. The differences in hairstyles between Viscera and Big Daddy V. Uh, Viscera obviously had that bleached blonde mohawk and Big Daddy V was sort of sporting just a normal low fade, you guys. So what I'm gonna do here with the Milliput is I'm just trying to round out the top of his head and then I'm just gonna go ahead and trim out a hairline using my X-Acto blade. And we're gonna kind of add some texture to that. So you guys are seeing me trim the general outline of where I wanted Big Daddy V's hairline to begin and I'm just going over it with the cotton swab just to kind of clean it up and smooth it down. Now what you guys are going to see me use here to achieve some of the texture of hair is actually a ballpoint pen and what I'm doing here is I like to dip it in water to make sure it doesn't stick and potentially pull the clay off of the head and I'm just dipping it in to sort of achieve some texture, some divots some recesses and stuff like that. And actually the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a piece of coarse sandpaper. So really high grade coarse sandpaper. I'm gonna dip it into the water and I'm just gonna kind of flatten it out, running it over the hair to again, achieve some nice grainy texture. And the last project that we're gonna tackle here in episode number two is the facial hair for Big Daddy V. Now I've let this head cure for a couple hours that way not to handle and potentially make any errors while manipulating the top of his head. And what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna add a little bit of Milliput to V's chin. I'm gonna go back to the X-Acto blade just to trim the general shape. And then I'm gonna use the Q-tip, the toothpick, and the ballpoint pen just to achieve the texture. Now remember, V didn't have much of a goatee or a very long or thick beard here during this time. So I don't want to, I don't want to elevate the chin as far as size at all with this facial hair. So I'm just going to try to make it as thin as possible, as flat as I can towards the uh, original sculpt here. And I'm just going to try to add the texture and I really think it's going to add a lot visually once he's all painted. And finally, you guys, we are almost through all of the sculpted modifications here for our custom Big Daddy V. It's starting to look a lot more like him and his body shape as well as his head. So what you guys can expect in part number three are we're going to start doing some of the sanding. I'm going to show you guys how I do the sanding as far as achieving that really smooth finished product. And we're going to add the singlet straps. And then after that, it's time to paint. Thank you guys so much again for coming and checking out episode number two here of Making the Custom. We're almost through working on our custom Big Daddy V. I think you guys are gonna be really excited to see that finished product. And as always, if you guys like the video, please leave a like, please leave a comment, please share with a friend. Please check me out on Instagram at chargrove.customs as well as subscribe here on YouTube to keep updated for all of my latest videos.